الرحمن الرحيم قرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم The future of transportation. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, if we want to move from one way to another or to carry goods from one place to another, we use either the car or the plane or the ship. Now, what's the future of this? Will, will we continue being transported from one location to another using these methods or is it something else? The Quran in three verses, the Quran gives us the future of transportation. So let's start. The first verse in chapter 27 verse 38 which reads, He said, O chiefs, which of you can bring me her throne before they come to me surrendering themselves in obedience? Here in this following verse, Prophet Solomon, Suleiman, Prophet Solomon, peace be upon him, is asking people in his uh, council to bring him the throne of the king of Saba a kingdom which was in now in Yemen, it's called Yemen nowadays. So he wanted to transport her throne from Yemen to Palestine. Now just to take some facts here. Here we have Yemen and here we have Palestine. He wanted to transport her throne. Here is a, a picture of her throne, what's left of it nowadays. As you can see it it has a mass of more than twenty thousand kilograms, its mass, more than 20,000 kilograms, 20 tons. He wanted that, that throne to be transported a distance more than 2,000 kilometers. He wanted to transport, for this transport to be done. So let's go back to the verse. The answer came to, from one of, uh, one subject or one, um, so someone who was in the council. Here we have it. And a freed from the jinn, a creature from the spirit world, said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your place. And verily, I am indeed strong and trustworthy for such work. So the first offer came to him from a jinn, a creature, not human, a um, creature from the spirit world called the jinn. He, t he told him, I will bring that throne in a matter of hours. Because Prophet Solomon used to sit in this council in the, mo in the morning and used to uh, leave in the, uh, let's say, evening time. So in a matter of, s of hours, that wasn't good enough for Prophet Solomon. He wants something faster. Imagine, look, in our day, we want a faster car, a faster plane, a faster ship. So he wants something faster. You see how, brothers and sisters, the Quran is in perfect harmony with our life. It, it is valid for every time and age and every person okay so here is the answer that came to him the second uh, offer in chapter 27 verse 40 one with whom was knowledge from the book said I will bring it to you within the twinkling of an eye then when he saw it placed before him he said this is by the grace of my Lord to test me whether I am grateful or ungrateful and whoever is grateful, truly, his gratitude is for his own self. And whoever is ungrateful, certainly, my Lord is rich, bountiful. So the second offer came from a person who had knowledge from the book. He told him, I will bring you this throne in the twinkling of an eye. In the period that takes your eyelid to shut and to open again, you will have this throne. So the second offer came to him to be that this throne should be transported in less than half a second. The, the time it takes for your eyelid to open and close, it's, up, it's about 0.3 to 0.4 of a second. It's less than half a second. And that was good for Solomon. And the throne of the, the uh, queen of that kingdom came to transport, was transported from Yemen to Palestine in less than half a second. So the question, what this method of transportation, it's far superior to anything we have today. No ship or, or a car or a, or a plane can transport more than 20,000 kilograms in a distance more than 2,000 kilometers in less than half a second. 
So we want to learn this. We want to build this method of transportation. We as Muslims, we want to build this. So if you go back to the verse, that person made this or, or uh, built this method of transportation from his knowledge of the book. So the question now beckons, what is this book? Because if we can get hold of this book, we can learn this far superior method of transportation. The answer to what is this book is in the Quran as well. If we go to verse number 4 of chapter 3 of the Quran, which read, which read this translation, it is he who has sent down the book, the Quran, to you with truth, confirming what came before it. And he sent down the Torah and the Injil. So here Allah is telling us that he sent down the book, which is the Quran, to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And he also, Allah says, no, that he sent down the Torah, which is the the revelation was given to Prophet Moses, peace upon him, and the Injil, the revelation which was given to Prophet Jesus, peace upon him. So, look, the book defined here, and if you go back to the verse, knowledge from the book. So, the book and the book, which means that that person who built this transportation theory, transportation uh, device or um, vehicle, had his knowledge from the book, which is the Quran. Now somebody might ask, okay, in the time of Prophet Solomon, Prophet Muhammad was not sent yet. So how can there be a Quran at that stage? Okay, now, the revelations that Allah gave to Prophet uh, Abraham, Prophet uh, Jesus, Prophet Moses, all of these revelations, they are parts of the Quran. Parts of the Quran, uh, which was necessary for the people of that time and day and age. Now, we have the complete revelation. This is the complete knowledge that Allah, that Allah wants to teach us as humans. So, it's valid that in the time of Solomon, that person who had, which was in his council, from knowledge of part of the Quran, he built that transportation vehicle or method to transport this throne. So, if we ponder upon the Quran, we can learn this method of transportation that it was able to transport this huge mass uh, this long distance in a half less than half a second